All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, your border man, NJ to the city, NJ, NJ to the city, NJ, NJ, NJ to the city with the number two in TL. Let's go. So I don't know what I'll be officially titled in this video, but I know what I'm talking about in this video is my future in college. Um, because I'm going to tell you straight up, because I'm definitely going to try my best, my best to market this video on social media and whatever else, because I want everybody to understand. My name is Nathaniel Joshua Williams, a.k.a. Nathaniel Joshua, NJ to the city of Williams. The NJ to the city part comes from my rapper name. Yeah. And NJ to the City of Williams kind of sounds like it makes some sense, don't it? Because I know it does. So what that uh, that means to say, ladies and gentlemen, I have a lot of initiatives um, to help children, to help kids um, further learn, build, and grow in Christ's name towards, you know, their better tomorrow, towards the further advancement of all people, into their best selves, living their best lives with Christ. And um, to go <clears throat> into that even deeper, um, scrolling through everybody's Instagram, people who already graduated in these and a bunch of freshmen and sophomores that are my friends that are already at these right now and then hearing from the, the last two classes that I went to school with at um, Nice, uh, really actually not just the last two, actually the last three, uh, 19, 20, and 21. So here's the thing, you know, take this as you will, but you can literally talk to anybody from the class of 19 and they'll probably tell you this. 19, supposedly after I left, Cause I left after the, I, I left the class of fifteen. I graduated the class of fifth. Not <laughs> sorry, no, I didn't. I graduated with the class of eighteen. I don't know where fifteen came from. I don't know where it came from, but I graduated with the class of um, eighteen. With the class of fifteen, I was a sophomore, I think. I, yeah, I was a sophomore. With the class of fifteen, I was a sophomore. But no, I, I graduated with the class of eighteen. And so what that says, ladies and gentlemen, is that um, if you speak to a lot of people within the class of nineteen at least from what I know of, a lot of people from the class of 19 have told me, Nice literally took a dip in everything. Like, literally. Nice took a dip with everything. When I left with the class of 18, school spirit died. You know, nobody cared. Nobody wanted to be there. And according to one of my other friends, I believe they graduated last year, um... She told me that um, everybody walked around depressed. M depressed, miserable, sad, mopey, grumpy, nobody cared, nobody wanted to be there. And every time I see people from the class of, um, who, who, who are still there within the class of 2020 and 2021, everybody tells me how much they love me and how much they miss me so much. And I can't blame them. I'm in J to the city. I am a natural people person. I can tell you that I wasn't always as outgoing with what I do as I am today. I, it literally took me a little while longer to grow into it. I always had it in me, but it just took a little while longer to bring it out of me and put it to the forefront where I could affect more people and have that legacy, the impact and the change and so on and so on. So what that, the picture that that paints, ladies and gentlemen, is that Again, there's like a 1% of people that don't like me no matter what I do, no matter what I say. They just don't like me, and God bless your souls. I hope we can reconcile our, our differences one day. But this is the, the, the people who do care, do like me, and so much more. Um, what this is to say, ladies and gentlemen, is that um, my future with college is that I've thought to myself multiple times. You know, at first I told myself, because trust me, if I had went to college right after high school, I can assure you, I would not have been going because I actually cared about college. I would have been going purely for socialization, you know, purely for socialization. And college is, is its own little game. And what that means is it's a different, it's a little bit of a, a wholly different, I want to say, totally or wholly, whatever word fits there, the best, different ball game than what college is, I mean, what high school is. What that means is in college, nobody's obligated to check up on you. Nobody's obligated to make sure you get this assignment. Nobody's obligated to lend you an extra hand. Hey, they might promote that in the college commercials, but that doesn't mean everybody on every college campus actually cares that much about you, you know. And then uh, um, from my, my cousin that's in college right now, he um, he 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 explained to me he explained the college courses that he's he he was taking over the summer. He told me how much they cost, and I'm like, huh, uh, huh. I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm not in college right now. And then to hear that there's no multiple there's no multiple choice in college, or to hear that um, in, in a lot of colleges or whatever, there's not multiple choice. If there's not multiple choice, I know math is definitely not going to be my friend. <laughs> but math is not my friend today. But I can tell you for um, all my class all my class of 2022, 2023, 2024, and more so, folks at Valley Ridge and folks at. Pacetti and Landrum and whatever school you go to, but particularly I can definitely say 
uh, Valley Ridge and Pacetti, the ones that I know are immediately zoned to Nice. I can tell you this right now. Uh, I am I am absolutely dedicated to being there for you in some type of capacity um, throughout your, um, you know, throughout, if not all your high school career, at least half of it, if not some of it. I'm absolutely dedicated to. And trust me, um, I, fl I, I flipped this mental switch just yesterday in my mind that told myself, I don't care what I have to go through. I'm going to college quicker than what I thought I was. I told myself that if I didn't go by a class of, if I didn't go by 2021, I was going to force myself. Like, you know, like if, like if I didn't go next year in 2020, I would go, I'll force myself in 2021. But I've told myself now, forget that. I got to cut that in half and I'll just force myself next year to go. And the reason why is because I have so many beautiful, lovely friends at Nice, at Valley, and at Pacetti. These kids, the, their families, they're awesome. And I can tell you, the culture that I know Nice can build, if we haven't already built it, and the culture I know Pacetti can build and Valley can build, if we haven't already built it, is a, is a culture unlike any other culture. And what this means is that I know how to, I know what I'm doing. I have not mastered school spirit, school support, being a people person for no good reason. You know, I know how to talk. I know how to treat kids. I know how to go out of my way to talk to kids and to um, I get, ac I, once I get acclimated to their particular needs and their wants. Now, to every kid watching this, it's not to say that, you know, I can, you know, help you with everything. And it's not to say I can make you happy with everything because that's just not realistic to my strengths but I can rest assure you that you know one of the top things that I'm tired of reading with all these school reviews from St. John's Duval whatever county you want to name I read them from, from everywhere all across the country one of the top things that ticks me off is how many times I've literally heard about bullying 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 literally too many times fights 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 too many times bias staff bias faculty Bias administration. Should I go on? I think you already already get the uh, drift of what I'm trying to explain there. And um, the point there, ladies and gentlemen, is that the culture we have, the, the culture, the opportunity, and I really want, if anybody from Nice Valley, whatever school watches this eventually, listen to everything I'm about to say. The opportunity that we have at Nice, really a part of the whole single kind of school district, but definitely Nice Valley, Pacetti, and really in a couple of the schools. But, you know, I'm, going, I'm just going to go with those three right, right now. The opportunity that we have to build at all three of those schools is where people absolutely know us. And what I mean by know us, know us to where they know we are good, we are sturdy, and we're going to treat everybody in our building, and maybe even everybody outside our, our building, with the most love, the most appreciation, the most respect. That means screw biasness, screw, um, screw biasness, screw double standards, screw hypocrisy. We have the opportunity to build a real culture in St. John's County and abroad, but definitely with these three schools, Nice, Pacetti, Valley, we have an opportunity to build this type of culture where we have people, this, this is how you know you're successful. You're, uh, you're successful at running a school is when you have people from other, not only, not only other, you know, around your county, but other states who particularly know about you for God first everything and they are coming out of their way to go to your school, not just because they want to be in an academy, because they authentically want to go to school there and represent your school, and they want to build their legacy there, plant that flag, create an impact, and so much more. Now, the way I talk, people tell me I should be a teacher or a principal, but I can definitely tell you I see more of myself being a guidance counselor, but I can tell you for the most part I'm open to whatever they have me do. But what the point there is that as far as I'm concerned, the only way I'm going to get any of this acclimated is probably if I force myself into college, get this degree as fast as I can, and hopefully immediately get employed by St. John's County, hopefully by Nice or Valley or Pacetti. I don't care, one of those three, if not all three, but I would definitely, I'm the, the core of where I started at is with Nice. So I would love nothing more than to start there, you know, because I'm telling you, I will not let, and again, forgive me if this, forgive me if this sounds arrogant. I will not, over my dead body, will I let my the legacy and the impact and the culture that I built in Nice, you know, over my tenure there, definitely over the last three years, more than any, you know, more than the last five, but definitely the last three, at least what I can tell you. Um, I mean, overall, I mean, all the years were, were great, but I'm definitely saying the last three years when I started claiming the ambassador title and started building the culture, the foundation, the family, the legacy that I have even to this day. That's why... 
when I come around, people tell me they love me and they miss me at Nice. I can't blame them because with me, dare I say, school family and school home doesn't really exist in a, in, in a lot of our schools. Unless you, once again, in tiny pieces, make it up within your own little inner circle. And that's kind of the problem here. I want Nice Valley Ridge and every other school out there to understand the opportunity, because we are still ranked number one in this entire county. Or sorry, we're still ranked number one as a county in this entire state. And I love that. But I'm telling you, we've got to stop caring about it being based purely upon the, the, the numbers. And we do want to say that because, ladies and gentlemen, I've read countless school reviews where all they, 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 they were school reviews have told me all these schools care about is numbers. That's not right. No wonder why you have all these false flags and et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to go into all the particular details, but all these tragedies, especially because, again, I'm filming this on a Wednesday. Look what happened last week in California. Literally. I forgot today's date, but I think it's the 20th, right? Yeah, 20th. I'm filming this on a Wednesday, 20th of November, 2019. Look what just happened last Thursday in California. I want everybody to understand this. Whoever watched this past, present, future, we have an opportunity, not only in this county of St. John's, but everywhere, to build a true and real culture of school home, school family, school hospitality. Screw your ego. Screw your pride. Unless it's school pride. Screw your biasness. Screw whatever else. We've got to start clean and fresh. And I'm telling you this, by God's grace, if I'm blessed to get this degree and work in these schools during the school day, because that's what is killing me every day that I'm not there, there during the school day to hold this. I'm telling you this. I will come into any school, every school, regardless of what position I'm in, and I will clean your infrastructure up from start to start. <laughs> uh, <I'll laughs> oh, God. Okay, I was about to start at the bottom, but that's not the correct phrase. Start to finish, <laughs> top to bottom. That wasn't the correct phrase, sorry. But I will do it. I will come into your school and clean it up. And, you, and, and if you try to banish me or whatever for whatever garbage reason, I'll just sue you. Reason why I say that because you don't care about your job. I've read too many school reviews where you don't care about your job. And I'm not tolerating it anymore. I'm not tolerating it anymore. I want to be there for the class of 2022, 3, 4, many more classes, you know, they're, they're four on. You know, I want to be there for, if not all their high school career, at least half of their high school career. Not half, at least some. You know, and I also want to be there for them at the earliest of ages in middle school. And particularly with K-8s, through eights, K-8, through eight, you know, I want to be there for them at the earliest of ages. And keep know, I'm only 21 years old. So to all kids that might be watching this, I'm not too far off from you when it comes to this culture that we live in. When it comes to trends, likes, and whatever else. I'm not some whoever walk, walking in there who's like, he hasn't known nothing. No, I know a lot, trust me, fam. I graduated part of class 18. I know a lot. About today's culture, trust me, you're, you know, trust me, I haven't gotten involved in everything, but I know something about today's culture with likes, trends, hashtags, I know, okay? But the point that I'm trying to make there is, I'm telling you, you've got to start somewhere with cleaning up our school's infrastructure. And as far as I'm concerned, too many schools have garbage infrastructure. I know that because I read too many school reviews that tell me these schools have garbage infrastructure. The administration is corrupt. The School the teachers don't teach and don't care. Faculty and staff do all this shady other stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got to start somewhere. And and, and, and and if I have to be that tool to come in there and clean up our infrastructures, I'll do it. And God first, I'll die trying to do it. So, you know, we'll see how the future of that goes. But the point is, I can't just sit back and write raps like I do right now, which I love doing. Music is my passion. But I can't just sit back and keep writing raps now knowing that I have something else out there that's calling my name. And what's calling my name is every time I scroll through my Instagram, these kids need me. Or I need them. Whichever you know phrase goes best. There. But I know when I'm there and I be myself, kids gravitate towards me. You know, positivity and kindness gravitates towards me. I've had people ask me how, countless times, how are you so positive? You know, how, how, how are you so energetic? You know, you know, I inspire school spirit. And that's what a lot of you school, a lot of your schools need. And God first, whatever I can to inspire that with the next generation, that's what I'm coming there to do. Authentically, in and out of school. We are a school home. We are a school family. And that's the legacy and impact that I'm leaving within every school that I work in futurely. God bless. I probably can go deeper into this, but I got to quit it now. So God bless.